This is Danfire here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Now, today we are talking about the CV3K, as you can see behind me. So, quick shout out to Hell's Wolf, who uh, finished off the rest of this for me. Um, to make it nice and simple, I had a lot of these, so I just asked him to quickly send me over the ones I was missing. Uh, so he's got some screenshots in here, but most of this is mine, so that's going to be... A little bit easier to talk about and stuff because I'll have it on screen. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So, let's jump into the video. And... Yeah, we're straight into uh, the blueprint design. We're going to go into here, and we have, as you can see here, M1, the integrated aircraft hangar. Now, five large fighters, fantastic. Uh, so large fighters, so you know, are the bombers. That is the uh, currently the Bullfrog, the Stingray, and the Vetus B. Very, very, very powerful, the Stingray and the Vetus B. Loads of damage. The Vetus B, absolutely insane amounts of damage. The Bullfrog, less anti-ship damage, but it makes up for it with its siege capabilities. So if you do want to run them into siege fleets with CV3Ks, you can. And they work extremely well. They do a decent amount of siege damage uh, for certain. On top of that, you also get a Corvette dock, allowing you to carry three Corvettes. Pretty nice, to be honest with you. So, we then move on to M2. You lose uh, the Corvette dock, I believe. Uh, you keep the large aircraft hangar with five large aircrafts. And you gain the carry tactical UAVs with 3,750 damage per minute. An integrated UAV hangar capable of housing five squadrons of tactical UAVs. A squadron is five UAVs in this case, so it's five times five, 25 UAVs capable of carrying out focused attacks on enemy ships' weapon systems. This is actually, like, unfortunately bad. So, in the most cases, you can generally just get more by running, like, the large aircraft system in uh, the M3 slots. It just gives you three more aircraft. And the Newlands and stuff like that, the system-damaging fighters that you can put into ships seem to out damage system wise uh these uavs so it's a bit of a shame uh maybe they should buff the damage up so it's at least on par um to say the likes of three newlands or something like that because uh, that would definitely be better we have m3 you lose the corvette hangar to gain an extra three large fighters it's actually not bad if you do have loads of bombers um definitely consider it. it you know it could definitely be worth it uh over more corvettes or maybe you just don't have any corvettes that are decent you don't have t800s you don't have nebula pulse uh you don't have cellular defenders this could certainly you know make up for that and just carry more stuff just because it's large doesn't mean you can't use it for medium and small fighters, you know, adding in spores and stuff like that. I uh, very per often, personally, I'll run spores in here, and yeah, works fine. We then move over to A slot. So in A1, you have the Dragoon battery system. Uh, There's an additional slot, if I remember rightly. Uh, you get a 200 damage per hit cannon. Uh, yeah, three times one attacks per round, nine second cooldown, five second uh, lock on time. Targets, destroyer, frigate, carrier, battlecruiser, cruiser in that order. It's not too bad. You also get generic rapid fire cannons. This is anti aircraft with a one time attacks per round with a four second cooldown. There's four of these though, six second lock on time. I haven't noticed these that weapons doing anything. They're generally not worth the points at all. Uh, so yeah, uh, I. I don't think if you see these, these might be worth skipping, but at the same time, that means they're still in the pool that you could be drawing. So it could be worth picking them up just to take them out of the pool. So the next time you do get a duplicate, you are guaranteed something you will want. In A2, you get pretty much the same thing. It's a missile defense system. 
Thankfully, this does have interception capability. Unthankfully, the CV-3K is rear row, so unless the missiles are pretty much targeting it, its interception capability ain't that good. So not particularly great here either. It's one times 12 attacks per round with a 20 second cooldown and a lock on time of three seconds. Something to note, there is three of them. So there's quite a few missiles going around in the air with this thing, but unfortunately, yeah, not particularly great. Damage is a bit meh, and yeah, it's it's yeah, it is what it is at the end of the day. It's a backup system. This is a carrier. We're going to the additional weapons, uh, additional systems down here. In B1, you have another missile defense system. This is again interception capabilities with six second duration, one times six attack per round. Cooldown of 12, second, 12 seconds and an 8 second lock on time. Air defense, meh. Anti ship, meh. It's pretty terrible in all in all. It's like a single missile system that just doesn't, you know, it's just not worth it. I would have liked to see, because this kind of looks like the cast module. If this was like the cast torpedo system on here, that would have been really cool and that would have made uh, the ship a bit better, in my opinion. But this, in general, is pretty terrible. We then go over to B2, it's saving grace, or one of them for this slot. You have another Corvette dock. It gives you three more Corvettes. That brings you up with the base hangar system from five large and three Corvettes to an extra three um, Corvettes, bringing you to a very, very tasty 11 aircraft being carried by this thing at decent speeds this can go into cruiser fleets with no issue it's as fast as most cruisers for the most part especially for its warp so yeah all in all pretty varied and a pretty decent ship in b3 you have carries three info command uavs and is tasked with housing and maintaining these uavs also equipped with a signal guidance system its info uavs are able to increase the weapon hit rate of the ships they reinforce. These go off and ta tag on to ships within your fleet, increasing their hit rate. It's not a bad system, I personally think carrying more Corvettes, but again, if you don't have the Corvettes to wield, you know, support UAVs will help increase your damage slightly of your entire fleet. Well, not your entire fleet, but some ships within your fleet, whenever the, whichever ones these decide to tag to. So it could be pretty decent. It could be terrible. It could tag to the CV-3K, for example, and it's absolutely abysmal weapon system. So uh, do bear that in mind. Now, for me, there is only one or two ways of uh, it's one way and it's a choice of two of the modules for me it's always running uh, the corvette loading system so b2 you can absolutely ignore a1 and a2 you don't necessarily even have to waste your tech points on doing anything there and yeah it's between m1 and m3 for me personally M1, if you've got decent Corvettes, Corvettes do seem to genuinely do better than most fighters. I do not have Vetus B, unfortunately. I only have Stingray and Bullfrogs running the large aircraft uh, hang system to get three large extra aircraft isn't worth it in my opinion. So I do run the uh, Corvettes here. If you do have Vetus and Stingray and you want to them, run them all on your CV3Ks, potentially the large aircraft system is enough for that. That being said, you can build five of these, so that's 50 aircraft uh, that the, uh, the, sorry, not 50, 25 aircraft that the base is bringing in anyway, and you can only build 20, uh, like 10 Vetus and 10 Stingray. So, you know, in my opinion, I think the Corvette dock will win out, especially if you do have uh, decent Corvettes there. Uh, that will take up most of your room, though, to bring in Stingrays, uh, stingrays uh, to bring in Spores and stuff like that. So you will probably have to run maybe Ceres or something like that to bring in some more uh, air support for your fleet. So there we go. That is the CV3K. Up next, we'll have the Solar Whale. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.